I often imagine that painting is similar to poetry. I can say things with my brushes and my color choices that I can't say with my words. When I begin a new painting, the canvas is perfect and it's pure and white and usually it feels like it's getting worse and worse and worse and then I step back and I look at it and it's done and it's perfect and it conveys everything that I wanted it to say in the beginning. Art is all about communication. It's the artist's intentions and the artist's ideas for the painting and what the story they were trying to tell. But then the story goes on when you live with it and you bring it into your home and you spend your days with it. I sold a painting to a little Italian lady who spoke very little English, but she sent me an email about her painting after months after she received it and she said, I have a lot of artwork handed down for my family from generations of collecting, but your painting is my favorite because you are the artist that I know. There's a lot of energy that is put into a good painting and a painting won't succeed and won't be anything more than pretty unless the artist gives of themselves to the painting. It takes energy and passion and attention to detail that you can't necessarily learn in art school. You have to feel it and you have to be willing to give to every painting that you produce. That's probably the hardest part of being an artist for me and also the most rewarding because when I give of myself to a painting, it's unbelievably satisfying and it just fulfills me in a way that nothing else really does. One of my favorite parts of being an artist is the fact that it allows me to define my days, which allows me to spend a lot of time with my daughters, which is probably the biggest blessing of my life. They inspire me daily to see the world the way they see it. They live their lives fully and vibrantly and without any filters, just joyously exploring everything. If I could paint a painting through their eyes, I'd be incredibly happy.